Hi there. My name's Kurt Schrader. I'm your United States Congressman from the 5th Congressional District. We encompass Clackamas, Marion, Polk, Tillamook, Lincoln, and parts of uh, Multnomah and Benton counties. Uh, we ran for this office two years ago because we didn't like the direction this country was headed. Uh, the previous administration had run this, uh, run this country into a ditch. Uh, we were losing 750,000 jobs a month. Uh, people were losing their homes. Uh, pretty darn tough circumstances. We just narrowly averted a great, great depression. Uh, we've been working hard. I'm a small businessman. Uh, uh, raised a family of five great kids. Uh, own a uh, veterinary clinic and a farm. Uh, and frankly, I think that's the type of person you need in the United States Congress right now. Uh, someone that's had to meet a payroll, uh, someone that's uh, had to balance a checkbook both at home and frankly in a business, uh, someone that's had everything at risk every day, uh, having started two businesses from scratch. Uh, we've, been, we've been working hard for Oregonians since we've been back in uh, the United States Congress. Uh, as I said, we, I think we've averted the depression and slowly turning things around. Private payrolls are actually up a little bit, believe it or not, in our state. And the optimism as I walk uh, Main Street businesses uh, uh, when I'm back home uh, is actually a lot better than it was a year and a half ago. We certainly have got a long way to go. It's no, uh, no uh, new story to people that Oregon's usually the last state into the recession. And uh, unfortunately, that means we're going to be one of the last states getting out of this recession. Uh, but we're starting to see some progress. And frankly, we've had some successes right here in Oregon. Uh, I'm very, very, very pleased to say that uh, uh, in the Salem area, we've got an employment center uh, that we've been able to get a lot of infrastructure development for to create jobs. Uh, we've got manufacturing jobs uh, in uh, Clackamas County uh, to building a whole new streetcar. First American-made streetcar is going to be occurring in our, in our country, in our state, and in this district. Uh, we've been able to help our uh, fighting warriors by uh, rehabilitating the National Guard Armory in Polk County. And, and frankly, we just stole the Pacific uh, fleet, the NOAA fleet, out from under our Washington state senators and brought it back to Oregon here. It's going to be situated at the Newport uh, community area, bringing hundreds of new jobs to an area that's been in pretty tough shape for a long, long time. So we've had some successes. Uh, most of my work's been done on my uh, committees. I'm on the small business, agriculture, and budget committees that fits my profile as a small business person and a farmer and one who actually did a lot of work on our state budget uh, not just too many years ago. To me, it's about uh, getting small business going and creating jobs. That's really what it's all about. Uh, I actually introduced and passed legislation that has been languishing in the Senate for about eight or nine months that would increase uh, loan guarantees for the banks uh, so that the Small Business Administration would guarantee maybe up to 90 percent of the loans so that, uh, frankly, those banks might actually lend some money. I've been in the forefront of encouraging small business tax credits higher levels of expensing and depreciation allowances, uh, getting to write off 100% of your capital gains, frankly, for small businesses. Uh, and we actually passed out of our committee a small business lending fund uh, that I vetted with a lot of our banks and mortgage and uh, uh, small business lenders. Really think it's a great idea, $30 billion, all paid for, not adding to the debt, uh, that will leverage almost $300 billion in private investment in businesses that create jobs. Uh, and I'm proud to report, as of two days ago, uh, the Senate actually passed a bill that encompasses all three of those elements, the tax breaks, the guarantees, and the loaning, lending fund for small businesses. So uh, that's actually going to become law on Monday. Uh, the President of the United States is going to be signing that bill. We already have a thousand businesses lined up uh, with applications that are approved, ready to loan uh, as soon as that bill is signed. So that's a great success story. We're also very mindful of our debt out there. Uh, I've heard loud and clear from citizens all during the summer and last year, we got to get our debt under control. So I've been working very hard to make sure you, we have pay-as-you-go legislation so we don't add to the deficit. Uh, we actually have introduced bills on our own behalf for Medicaid and Medicare fraud, waste, and abuse, save $132 billion. I've even returned over $100,000 from my own office uh, to help balance the budget. Uh, and we've been walking our talk every day. We actually have refused to take two congressional pay increases because we're trying to be like everybody else. One of the best parts of the job is helping people out. I'm proud that we've been able to bring a million and a half dollars of benefits back for seniors and veterans who've earned them. Uh, I feel very, very good about the reintegration efforts our state's doing, making the troops safe when they come home from war at Fort Lewis. And frankly, i uh, been very, very proud of the work we've done for Medicare for our seniors, making sure we get the same reimbursement everyone else does. Please vote for me, November 2nd. Thank you.